Obesity is defined as a body mass index of more or equal to 30, which is calculated using height and weight. Obesity is recognized as a chronic progressive condition that results from excess fat tissue accumulation. It increases the risk of type 2 diabetes, heart diseases, liver diseases, musculoskeletal diseases, and certain cancers. People with obesity are often stigmatized as being lazy and lacking willpower, which result in their unsuccessful attempts to lose weight. This is not true. In fact, obesity is not as simple as eating too much junk food and moving too little and the cause of the condition is definitely not due to the lack of willpower or behavioral issues. Hormones in our gut play a big role in the development of obesity as a disease. Hormones such as ghrelin, glucagon-like peptide 1 or GLP-1, cholecystokinin, and peptide YY are produced in the gut following a meal. This hormone signals the availability of nutrients to the brain and control appetite. Adult and children with obesity has been shown to have abnormal levels of these hormones following a meal which leads to increased food intake and obesity. Our increasing understanding of these hormones has led to scientists discovering several treatments for obesity. For example, medication that mimic the action of GLP-1 has been approved as a treatment for obesity due to their appetite suppression effect resulting in weight loss. Bariatric surgery speeds up the exposure of food into the gut leading to an exaggerated gut hormone secretion, again suppressing appetite and resulting in weight loss. More treatment looking into gut hormones and obesity are currently undergoing clinical trials and they appear to be promising. I hope we have convinced you that obesity is not due to lack of willpower but has a scientific explanation of it being a disease. All of us have a role in reducing stigma as it might result in guilt and shame to people living with the condition. For people with obesity, please do not feel ashamed to speak to your healthcare providers for further advice and support.